Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's beer reviews. I hope you're doing well today. I've got a uh, an IPA to review for you. Uh, this one I just got into Tesco in the last uh, week or so, and um, I'm quite excited about this one. It's uh, a collaboration between three monsters in the craft brewing industry, particularly here in the UK. Um, it's a collaboration between Overtone Brewing uh, up in Scotland, uh, Northern Monk, of course, in Yorkshire, and Neon Raptor down in Nottingham. And they've collaborated to make uh, a double dry hopped IPA, and they've called it North. And there it is, 7% ABV. Um, it does have a, a kind of a Northern Monk artwork feel about it with the triangle in the middle and the uh, kind of the country out sort of artwork behind that so i kind of get the feeling all the monk were very much in charge of this uh, but yeah this went into tesco i think it was last week um they've released this one called north and they always also released another one which i believe is a collaboration as well which is called south and that one was a, a pastry sour um but i don't see the point in sour so i didn't bother buying it but I do like a good IPA. Now this one is the double dry hopped IPA. Like I say, 7% ABV, Overtone, Northern Monk, Neon Raptor, Collaboration Brew. Um, it says, Leeds' is Northern Monk team up with Glasgow's Overtone and Nottingham's Neon Raptor to form the North's tag team against some of the finest breweries the South has to offer. Combining their shared passion for all things hoppy, the Northern Powerhouse are represented by a double dry hopped IPA pack full of Citra Plus, Strata, Idaho 7, El Dorado for a sweet and zesty citrus, juicy tropical fruit and dank bitterness. Yeah. Does it say where it was actually brewed? So I mean, this for me screams a Northern Monk can. And yeah, I'm guessing it was brewed at Northern Monk. rather than the basis of the other two. But yeah, there you go. Water, malted barley, wheat, oats, hops and yeast. So it's got oats in it, so it's gonna be a slightly creamy body, I would imagine. So let's stop waffling. Let's get this IPA out. Um, yeah, really looking forward to this. I've not actually reviewed anything by Neon Raptor on this channel, I just realized. Uh, so this is um, gonna be a first. As you're having a Neon Raptor beer on here. I've had some Overtone beers, which are stunning. And Northern Monk are one of my all-time favourites. Printer's making a weird noise behind me. Don't know why. So there's this IPA. It looks lovely in the glass. Big, hazy, juicy looking thing. I'm going to turn this off. Behave yourself. Juicy, hazy, orange looking IPA. Solid finger of a slightly, slightly foamy looking white head. But it looks good. It looks good. There was a nice juicy aroma that I took from the can on the opening. But say, as you hazy as you like. Lovely light orange look to it. It looks lovely, doesn't it? It's almost like a glass of custard. Uh, let's get me snouting. Get a proper aroma. Oh, yeah, big, dank, fruity, tropical aroma. Pineapple, mango, bit of passion fruit. It's really tropical. And behind that, you're getting a touch of citrus. There is a bit of a, a bit of grapefruit there, but it's it's so tropical strong. With that pineapple, that passion fruit, that mango. This is one of the most tropical aromas I've had in a while. Um, let's get stuck in, shall we? Cheers. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, juicy, juicy, juicy. Juicy Lucy. That is... Um, yeah, that's very drinkable. Very drinkable. Proper juicy. I know that word is said quite a lot. With uh, sort of tropical IPAs. But the main element I'm getting to that is just the sheer amount of juice. Proper fruity. 
really thirst quenching. Um, considering there's oats in the brew, the body is quite light. Loads of mango, mango, pineapple in an abundance. Touch of passion fruit and the flavour, touch of grapefruit. The citrus is firmly sort of kept behind under the tropical elements to it. It is light on the body, but not thin. You can tell the oats are in the brew. You tell the oat malts, the oat malts do give it a bit of body, a bit of texture, really kind of clings to your palate. At the back end, very little in the way of bitterness to speak of, um, which is a bit of a shame. I do like a finish. Mm. Juicy, juicy. That's really thirst quenching. It, it's delicious. It's a it's a lovely brew. Um, oh, but the bitterness is so it's so short. The bitterness, the finish to it. Otherwise, we're looking at an absolute banger. Um, seven percent, no chance, not for me. It's not drinking like a seven percent at all. It's ridiculously drinkable. It's almost like a soft drink. Big, juicy flavours kicking out. Lots of tropical fruit. Citrus behind it, like I say. Abundance of pineapple, mango, passion fruit. Bit of grapefruit. Touch of lemon. Um, but I say it's very, very firmly stuck behind the tropical flavours. The oats give it a nice bit of body. Sort of subtle, subtle creaminess. Really copes the palate. Um, it's very nice. Um, it just could have done with a bit more bitterness for my my own personal taste. Juice is so upfront on this one. I can't remember the last time I had an IPA that was so juice heavy. Yeah, just not enough in the way of bitterness. Not not enough in the way of a finish for me. For my own personal tastes. But um again it's it's very tasty, very refreshing. Um it's a decent collaboration. Um, for a supermarket, that's a very, very good IPA. Um, I won't complain too much. It was three pound, no, 3.50, I believe I paid for this. Three pound 50. Like I say, they've done another one called South. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head the breweries that were involved in that one, but I'm, I'm going by the spiel on the back. I'm assuming they're breweries that were based in the South, um, but it's a pastry sour and I just don't get on with sours. I do need to try and review some more sours. I know one or two people have asked for them. I just don't get on with it. I don't see the point. Um, yeah, that's, that's a decent beer. That's a, on, a, on, a, on a summer's day, that would be absolutely perfect. Um, just lacking a finish for me. A bit more hoppy bitterness at the back end. We, we, we'd have been looking at a, a very high score for my own personal taste. As it is, it's a very drinkable, very nicely made juicy IPA. Juice is the word for this beer. Um, it's a juice bomb. Um, there are one or two of those in supermarkets now. At Hop, Skip and Juice by Vocation, I believe you can still get that one. Um, it's up there with that in terms of a juice bomb fruit cocktail of an IPA. Very drinkable. Just lacks a finish. Um, but it's nice. It's nice. North. From Overtone, Northern Monk and Neon Raptor. Um... I like it. I like it enough to give it an 8 out of 10. It's a tasty, tasty beer. So in Tesco now, £3.50, go check it out. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this review. Give it a thumbs up if you have. Until my next one, you take care.